<clears throat> Hi, as you can see, I finally figured it out. This is a Home Designer Pro 2015. And uh, so I got that problem solved. Uh, took several conversations with tech support, which uh, were really kind of unproductive, except that it kept me thinking about how to do it. <clears throat> I, nothing wrong with the tech support. It's just they weren't un quite understanding what, what, what the problem was. Anyway, let me show you how I did this. Okay, I'm going to take this and delete it. Okay, so what I did, here's a, a custom wall type. I think this started out being, uh, yeah, siding six. I changed it to, uh, just for my own purposes, I changed it to uh, basically siding four by changing this interior layer to a three and a half. And I closed the box here. Oops. Okay, let's take a look at this. So the main layer is still the main layer here. You can see a check there. Uh, I get this layer here that's uh, basically sheetrock. I'm going to delete it. So basically we have framing, sheathing, moisture wrap, siding. Okay. Now the interior, interior I'm going to use an interior wall. And what I, you can see, I've already altered this wall type. Let's take a look and see what I did. I took a, a interior four wall. And added, added the five inch gap where normally this would be sheetrock and then framing and then sheetrock. I, I changed this layer here to uh, air, insulation air gap. So the, the trick is you have to use two walls. You can't use one custom wall and get this done. So I've, I've made two custom walls to emulate what it was that you were doing. Okay, we'll close that into a box. Now I'll take these walls and carefully shove them up against the outer wall. And uh, Mick is right that there's some additional uh, tools and settings in Chief Architect Premier X equipment which uh, assist this, but you can do it in Pro. <coughs> so open the dialog box here, go to Structure tab. Uh, yeah, there aren't any checkboxes like in Premier X6, but this still works. You've got a room inside. You can get a dialog box on for further programming. And we'll go over here to uh, Build Framing. Build. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> the wrong things. Okay, we'll go here to Build Framing. Always opening on my other monitor. There we go. And we'll build the wall framing. And this generates the wall the wall framing properly. That's how I did that. And that's how you do it in Pro or in Chief Architect uh, Premier X6. And I, I I don't know if this wouldn't work in uh, earlier versions of Pro, but you'd have to check it out and see. But you have to have two custom walls, not just one. That's what the original complaint was. They were trying to make one custom wall and have it framed properly. What It actually takes two custom walls to get that done. Okay. I'm always glad to get a happy ending, but this is something that I haven't had to do before, so I had to kind of figure it out from scratch. And I thought I'd share it with my friend there at uh, Home Talk. Thank you.